Hi friends, welcome back. Today I have the Jeffree Star Halloween mystery box to open for you guys to see if it's worth it or not. So let's get it opened up. All right, so I grabbed, he always does three tiers. He's got the premium, the deluxe, and the supreme. This one is the supreme. It was $200. I think the deluxe is like $140, and the premium is $65. Um, so I went with the biggest one. I did have to put my size in, so I'm assuming there's a t-shirt or a hoodie or something in it. So let's see. I know Jeffree Star Cosmetics has had some slight controversy in the past with their mystery boxes. So that was another reason why I really wanted to grab one and see if they've gotten better. There's a ton in here. It weighs so much. It's super heavy. Now, so this is what it looks like. It's chock full of product. <laughs> so I'm going to go straight in and pull out what's not wrapped up. So we have the magic star luminous setting powder in natural Let's see. oh i think i have used this before it's a setting powder the color might be too dark for me i'm, I'm super pale obviously <laughs> but um yeah so we got a setting powder Oh, cool. So he recently uh, started doing just single pans of his eyeshadows, so you can get your favorite colors without having to buy an entire new palette. This one is the Mausoleum eyeshadow. It's just like this and the little plastic. And then I think, um, like if you have those palettes that are just magnetic so you can build your own, I think these will snap right in there. Next thing is the, oh cool, the Magic Star Liquid Concealer in Lavender. Um, I don't remember, what's lavender supposed to conceal? It's supposed to cancel out redness maybe? I don't remember. It's a little intimidating for me, I'm not gonna lie. This is what the lavender looks like though. I don't remember what that's supposed to be. And then we have the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Cherry Wet. I love his uh, Velour Liquid Lipsticks. They're the only ones I've ever tried that literally stay on all day through anything. We have the, oh, the gloss in Mouthful. So this is the gloss. And we have the Jeffree Star. Oh, cool. Automatic eyeliner. Okay. That's a fun color. It's like this um like olive army green color. Just a mechanical pencil eyeliner. This packaging is so nice. Then we have one of the um, Velvet Trap lipsticks in Red Affair. Ooh, that's a really pretty red. I will say the products in this one, I think I got his Halloween mystery box like two years ago maybe, and that one was a bit of a disappointment because it very much seemed like, I mean I feel like that's what mystery boxes are, right? Like companies do have product that they need to push and they can't sell it, whatever. I'm fine with that. I go into mystery boxes kind of knowing that that's going to be the case. But the mystery box we did like two years ago, I got like a mint green highlighter and like an orange lipstick and a purple lipstick and it just felt like it was kind of like the really strange colors that are hard to make work with most looks. That's what was in there. <laughs> so this one, okay we have the mini controversy palette from him and Shane Dawson's collection. I wanted to keep it pretty. The mini controversy. 
I already have this one, but I do use it frequently. Oh, and it is the one. So when he first released this palette, they did a whole like docu-series on YouTube documenting the whole process, like Shane choosing the colors. And there was this green color eyeshadow that everyone went nuts for, but they ended up nixing it from the final product. And then they re-released it with that eyeshadow put in there. Um, so that is what this one is. It's the updated mini controversy. It's like there's so much in here. Right on top is his new Weirdo palette. I was kind of excited. I saw that he posted that all the mystery boxes would have them in them. This is the Weirdo Super cool. What is this? Oh, a random flyer. Apparently, he's coming out with skincare. There's that. Ooh, I love this color. So, this is one of his lip liners in the androgyny color. I'm not going to take it off because I feel like you wouldn't be able to see it very well on camera. But it's a super pretty, like, deep red lip liner. Oh, cool. Another um, eyeshadow pan. This one is Poison Ivy. It's like a bright green. Oh, fun. So this is a Witch's Brew lip scrub, which I do love his lip scrub. I love Jeffree Star's packaging. It's always so nice and thought through. It reminds me of um, Gumdrops. Is that what I'm thinking of? It doesn't say. It's just called Witch's Brew. Maybe I'll have to look on his website, but it's a green sugar scrub. So I see the cremated palette is also right on top. This is one I didn't grab, but I definitely contemplated it because it's a lot of um, very neutral tones. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I feel like it's <laughs> for the, the everyday person that's not trying to do crazy looks. And then we have the entire, I think it's the Reds collection of the Velour liquid lipsticks. Yes. Oh, this is a good one. So it has Doll Parts, Calabasas, Wifey, Watermelon Soda, Anna Nicole, Prom Night, Red Rum, and Unicorn Blood. His packaging is so nice. Oh, I'm really excited. So he posted, I think these are the weirdo mirrors. I don't know. He posted a picture. Let's see. Oh, it might just be a Halloween one. I lied. It's not even the weirdo ones. Ooh, this is fun. Wow. Okay, this is cool. So it's one of his hand mirrors, and it's like a soft touch matte. And it's got drippy. It's flashing on camera. This is so cool. Looks like I have one more thing in here, and it is a clothing piece. I think it's a hoodie, which I love hoodies. I think it is. This is the back of the hoodie. And then it's just got his like. Spooky logo? I don't know. <laughs> His logo on the front. Does that say Jeffree Star? Yeah, I think it says Jeffree Star. This is so cool. And it's like a like a chocolatey brown. I don't know. The hoodie itself is super soft, though. 
All right, guys, so that was everything in the Supreme Jeffree Star Halloween mystery box. Um, in my opinion, so it was $200. I feel like it was worth it. Um, I'll tally up what everything would have been like normal retail and pop it up here so you can see the price difference and like the discount essentially that you get. Um, but I think that a lot of the products were actually wearable. The lipsticks are super pretty. Um, no super wild colors that you have to really try to pull off. Um, and like full size eyeshadow palettes, like an entire mini velour liquid lipstick set and a really nice hoodie plus an exclusive mirror. I don't know. I think it was worth it. So I'll tally everything up, pop it up here so you can see the actual pricing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, um, if you got different things in your mystery box, like let me know down below um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.